the strip charts there. The strip charts there are, are showing me the uh, that was a good wave. This broadside there. They're showing me the wind direction and speed. And uh, the one on the right there, the range on the top, you probably can't read it, is 23 to, on the left and 40 on the right. The center is 33. And so you can see all the all the zigzags that go off to the far right are touching 40 pretty close. And uh, settled down a little bit. That number was up to 50 for a while. And uh, that's my command center. And um, got some food stuffs down here keeping me alive. And uh, I'm finishing up the other, finishing up uh, the long walk to freedom by Nelson Mandela. Been my, it was my goal for this storm was to finish that book in the middle of the storm. And I'm probably going to do it. I got about 25 more pages, and I probably got about 10 more hours of this stuff. So um, I can't read for very long because I, I just lose my concentration. But because I'm worried about the storm, I'm, I'm most most important to me is the angle of the boat with the waves and the wind. So I don't uh, I don't do a slam jive and break something. I'm just trying to just trying to survive through the storm here at this point in time. We probably have uh, two more hours of uh, this high intensity stuff, and then it'll start to diminish. But it'll take take 10 or 12 hours for it to lay down to maybe 25, 20 knots of wind, but uh, that certainly will feel like next to nothing compared to this stuff. And that's what I look like after a weary uh, 24 hours of storm watch. It's now about 5.30 in the morning. Sun's come out and the sky's cleared off. The wind's still up. It's still 35 to or so in that range. It's uh, supposed to be dying off. We're, we should be through the uh, core of the storm. The barometer is back up over a thousand now. It was down to uh, 996, 995, and uh, so this should be starting to ease off in the next six hours or so, a little bit at a time. But uh, it's, it's a lot prettier out here with the sun shining and the blue and the water. You see how it's a little bit crazy it is still. A little bit edgy yet. I have jived the boat over. I'm now on starboard jive. The other, the other videos were in port jive. So I'm headed a little bit south now. As this blows out, there's some light air behind it. And I need to get back down uh, to 40 south or 41 maybe even 42 south to get back into some westerlies and continue on to New Zealand. We're still about uh, four or 500 miles from being underneath Western Australia. And um, we're right about 3,000 miles from New Zealand, maybe a little less actually at this point. But I haven't, uh, haven't calculated it out today. Just too much other stuff going on, I guess. What's that coming on here? Watch her go down here. It's been a nice day for relaxing and getting caught up on sleep and some extra food and some rest. And I uh, had to fix the autopilots, get some water in the tanks and things like that. Um, after after about 10 days of uh, storm traveling, uh, so I just took it easy today. The only downfall of that is. Uh, Oh, it just takes time away from getting into New Zealand. But, uh, I'll get there. <laughs>